The concept of convection is something that keeps coming up in our earth science studies. The convection of the mantle and how it influences plate tectonics and the different plates and how they move, the convection of the water and the water cycle and the currents and how things move, and the convection of the air currents and their influence on weather and climate. So to make sure we have this concept under our belts, we're doing this demonstration today. It's a really simple but beautiful demonstration, and I'm going to share with you what we've done. To begin our demonstration, we need a heat source and a cooling source. And what I've used here for the heat source and the cooling source is water. One container is ice water and one container is hot water and that's placed underneath the container that you see here. So here are the two beakers that we use, the ice water here and the heated water here. And then I take the container that we're using to demonstrate the convection and place it on top of those two beakers. At this point, we then take blue, representing the cold side of our water, and red, representing the heated side of our water, dyes, food coloring dyes, and we place them into the water with pipettes. Then we start talking about the observations that we make. You can see immediately all the blue sinks to the bottom and the red get, is, get, is dispersed and moves up through the top. And if you watch closely, you can see the red moving over to the blue side and the blue being pulled at the bottom to replace the hot water that has moved up and over the cold water. So it shows this circulation. You can see here a few minutes later where it's mixed together. There's still some blue on the bottom and some that's circulating, but it's mostly mixed. We did this demonstration several times. This is our second take. And she is again putting the red on the heated side. So underneath that is the hot water. And on the opposite side is the ice water that's cooling the left side. We're using blue, and I want to say in this take, I diluted both of the dyes, mostly because the blue was so dark. The dye distributing makes such pretty colors. And you can see again the current starting to take shape here. The red lifting up and moving over to the left and the blue sinking to the bottom and it will be sucked up by the change of the hot air rising. So in the middle of this we switched the hot and the cold to see what would happen which was really interesting because it made some really pretty designs that you'll see here in just a second. She's adding a little more red and it did take just a few seconds. You can see it starting now for the water temperatures to change. Just such beautiful spirals. And this created quite a mix in this um, demonstration. 